there are no longer any reasons why you can't get into the number one business opportunity that exists today. That business opportunity is no code SaaS or no code software, with the highest profit margins, easy fulfillment, and the highest exit multiples. These are only some of the upsides that come with this business model. The real question is, how do you actually start? How long does it take? And how much capital do you actually need to get started with this? The answer is actually pretty simple. You don't need that much time to do this, and you also don't need that much capital to get started with this. I'm confident that anyone watching this video today could use a no-code builder like software.io or any of these easier no-code builders like Glide. Um, you know, there's more difficult ones like Bubble, but I'm confident that any of you guys can use these simple ones like software and build a software application in seven days or less. In this video, I'm going to show you guys a video tutorial that's been highly requested from you guys. Let's dive into it, step-by-step -step tutorial, follow along and I'll show you exactly how you can do this today. All right, so the first step is we need to sign up to Softer and Airtable. And so I've already done both of those things. And so you're gonna go to softer.io, you're gonna sign up, you're gonna go to Airtable, you're gonna sign up. And we have to connect the two, but we'll get to that in a second. So first off, I want you to go into Softer and go to templates. I want you to look at all these templates that are available. So you can see in the top, we've got client portals, internal tools, dashboards, marketplaces, online communities, resource directories, and websites. And you can just scroll, there's so many of them. There's so many, there's investor portals, talent space, content calendar, legal case management, lawyers are a great niche to sell, to. help desk, employee onboarding, product KPIs dashboard, there's customer feedback. Like look at all of these different things and keep in mind what you want to build, you don't necessarily have to sell it as a software, as a service. A lot of this stuff, maybe you run an agency, maybe you run an e-commerce brand, maybe you run some business and you are, have just been looking at how you can use software to build internal solutions to make your own life easier at your own business, you can do that too. So there's all these different things that you can choose from that are already functional templates that are most of the way done. Now, in this example, I'm going to do a content calendar. And so I've already selected this, but so I'm gonna go ahead and select it, and then I'm going to go ahead and connect it to Airtable. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up in Studio. And so just a brief explanation, software is used for the front end, and Airtable is used for the back end. So the Airtable is what holds all the data. Now, luckily with this template, it'll automatically paste the data into Airtable in the already properly formatted way. So all we have to do is go to settings, data sources, connect data source. You can use Airtable or Google Sheets. I prefer Airtable. You click on Airtable. Now we need to add the API key. So I've already done this, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. Go to Airtable. Here's my account. You can see all my different bases. Click on this icon in the top right, go to developer hub, and then come down to API key. And then you copy this, paste it in there, and then boom, it's connected. And so then if you go into you know, users, you'll see all of this display data. So this is obviously test data, but it's all in here and it is you know, connected from Airtable, all right? So you could open the base and go see all the data in Airtable as well. And it dynamically updates. So whenever you add new data, it'll automatically add into both software and Airtable, okay? And so if I go back now, now that we've just connected it, let me open this back up. This is what you get just by selecting the template. So this is already like 90% functional, right? So this is the homepage and you click on pages and you can see you have add campaign, add content, campaign calendar, campaign details, campaign results, the calendar details, pipeline, status board, forgot password, and all these you know other little pages. I want to quickly show you. Software is so easy. All you have to do is, these are all basically just little boxes, all right? So you can see if I hover, there's all these little boxes. You just click on one, and then you can basically change all these things super easily. So step one is to connect them. Step two is to actually start to, you know, brand it towards how you want to do it and make these little changes. So, you know, right here just says content calendar. Maybe you want to name it something, you know, plan your content production process with creators, you know, maybe you want to end up gearing this towards AI and be like easily create and schedule content with AI. Okay. Right. And so, then you can also go to styles and you can play around with the padding here. Okay. You can change the background color. You know, you can just do boom, make it orange. 
okay? You can play around with the visibility of like who can see this, all users, logged in users or non-logged in users, right? So this is the home page. So obviously you want anyone to be able to see it, but if you go to, you know, let's say if we actually go into the uh, content calendar. All right, so here we go. If we click on this box, you can see the source. So, all right, it's coming from Airtable, all right? So you can see all this different type of stuff. You can see content, actions, and then again, we go back to styles and visibility. So maybe you want this only be available to login users. Now only login users can see this. Now you can also change device visibility and all that fun stuff. So we can go and we can see all these different pages. Again, we've got the calendar and we can see the content pipeline. We'll add content button, right? And so right now, this, this data that you'll have, you'll have to input manually, right? So it's like the next step is, you know, getting API integrations to feed in this data manually, okay? You know, connecting to different APIs. Now, some of them, like for example, TikTok, they don't have a very good API yet, so you can't really pull this type of data. Um, but a lot of other platforms you can. And so things like that and adding more data. But so then the third step, so a lot of you right now are maybe like, maybe you don't think this is good enough to where someone would pay for it or something, okay? So it's like, how do we make it better? And so a lot of you might think this isn't, you know, good enough to get someone to pay for it right now. And so what we're going to do is we're going to add features that are going to be specific to markets. And so I was using HubSpot's AI trends for marketers. And as I was going through it, it's a 33 page, amazing free resource. And as I was going through it, I found out that a lot of people are using AI for content creation. And so I was like, okay, maybe I can add AI to this to help people get content ideas. And then they can also schedule and track their campaigns inside of here. And so I can't thank HubSpot enough for this document because that's how I got this idea. So if you guys want to download this guide on AI trends for marketers in 2023, it's 33 pages. I'll put the link in the description. I highly recommend you check it out. And and learn how to use AI for marketing in 2023 and beyond. So the link's in my description. And so it's super easy to add AI to software. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go to settings, integrations, scroll down to the bottom, open AI, and we have to paste in our open AI API key. So I'm gonna go and open AI. And since I've already used this one, I have to go to create new key, okay? And then I'll just go test two. Oops. All right. And then I would copy that, come back to softer, paste it in. Now open AI is connected. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to pages and I'm going to add a new page. I'm going to name it AI, save. So I have this blank page here now. So I have to come up here and hit add a block. Now, and keep in mind, you can do this when you're customizing it in the previous steps too. There's all these different things that you can add. There's forms, user accounts, payment list. So, you know, to accept payment for your SaaS, right? So you're going to connect it to Stripe, right? Super easy here. And it's the same thing. You come into settings, integrations, okay? Stripe checkout, and you'll just do that integration, super easy. But so for this one, you can see all these different ones, but we're going to go to static. And we're going to go all the way down to artificial intelligence. Okay. And you can do open AI DALI if you want to generate images, but we want text. So we're going to add this. And since short form content is so popular right now, maybe we'll make this like a hook generator for short form content. Um, so, and then just to tell people how to prompt it, be like, write me a short form hook for niche using a little bit of or using the ADA tension interest sire action model, right? And then you can basically change the length of the output that you want it to be. We can make it predictive, neutral, or creative, stuff like that. Okay, and so then now we have added our little AI section to this so where now people can come in here and they can generate a hook for their short form content. And then they could pop into, you know, add content here and they could add, you know, the different, um, so, you know, name be like, uh, you could just name it like 
the date and then short form video one headline add your hook sub headline kind of explain your reasoning when you're posting it add it to a campaign status etc so now we've in, we've incorporated ai in a way that's going to help our users and so i did all of this in all of two minutes and so imagine what you could do if you spend hours building this right so again you can play around with the theme so much more in all these different places and customize the colors there's a bunch more integrations that you can add all right so if you go to integrations you know you can create these little these little chat bots and stuff you know you can even in integrate with hubspot chat okay there's all these really cool things that you can do now the other thing is make sure that you connect yourself to a custom domain right so you know add your custom domain you know general add your add your logo you know little stuff like that but you know imagine what you could do if you spent hours building this you know if you came in here and like i said you can add you can do all these dynamic blocks there's all these different things that you can do you can you know you can connect a little twitter block right that could be cool to do on this content calendar right like use these to find tweets for inspiration you know there's a lot of cool things that you can do and the other thing that i would do is i would try to sell information or a service alongside your software so you know maybe you add a free pdf of like hey here's how to get you know short form content hooks that perform use, utilizing ai and then you plug you know your software because we add that little ai element but then it also has all the other features of actually you know scheduling your content and tracking the results as well but you're getting them you're getting customers in the door with the free info right or maybe you add it with a service you know maybe you have um some sort of content offer right it's really popular to have a short form content agency right now maybe you have a maybe you're watching this with a short form content agency right now and you want to downsell them to this software of like hey here's how you come up with content ideas here's how you schedule your content to stay organized and here's how you track your campaign results right or another use case is you could sell this to um e-commerce brands that hire UGC creators, right? Maybe they have their UGC creators come in and upload all their campaigns and make this an easier way to schedule and track their UGC content creators performance. Okay. So there's a lot of different use cases for this. And that's what I would do is I would sell information or a service with this. And then I would reach out to people in Facebook groups. I would, you know, cold DM people on Instagram and, in, and on Facebook and on Twitter. And uh, yeah, that's how I would grow this thing. It's super simple. And like I said, you can literally build this in seven days or less. And you can probably get your first customer in seven days or less, honestly. And so that's it. It's just a recap. The steps are sign up for softer.io and Airtable, connect them together with the API key, start to customize it with the colors that you like, your branding, connect your custom domain, et cetera, et cetera. And then the third step is to add some features, add AI, you know, use HubSpot's guide to kind of show you what type of AI to use, add some AI features to it, add some more features, and then go and start actually getting yourself some customers and sell it with info or a service. So that wraps up everything. If you follow these steps that I just showed you, you can literally have your own software application up and running in seven days or less, like I just showed you, depending how much you wanna customize your application. Now, imagine if you actually took the time to sit down and do this yourself and customize your application even further. I showed you how to make the simplest application possible that serves the main functionality. The potential with no-code SaaS is literally limitless. So if you want more strategies on how to start in no-code software, how to market them, and overall strategies that are actively working today in my different software companies that I'm running, in the description below, I'll put the link to subscribe to my newsletter where I send a couple emails per week on all these different types of strategies that are working for me today. And if you have a software idea that you want to bring to life and you want my team to build it, and you want me to consult on your go-to-market strategy, I'll also put the way to get in contact with me and my team below for that. Until next time, I'm out.